Hi guys, welcome back. So this is the seventh lesson of the mini-series Piano Shorties, and today I'm going to explain to you what a ninth is. So if you've ever studied any jazz, or even just learnt how to play those big, nice, thick chords, you'd have probably already come across something called a ninth. So what is a ninth? Well, it's basically just a specific degree of a scale. So, for example, if we take C major, the note C is the first note of the scale. And hopefully, if you're watching this, you know that a triad is a three note chord made up of the first, third, and fifth degrees of the scale. So if we have the 1st, 3rd and 5th, we could, get, we could also go on to add the 7th. This gives us a major 7 chord. And if you're unsure about 7th chords, I've got a video called 7th Chords for Dummies, so feel free to go and check that out. But if we follow the same pattern of adding on extensions to the chord, the next logical step would be to add what we call the 9th. So here's the major 7, and here's the ninth. So in C major, the ninth would be the note D. Now, you may notice that D is actually the second note of C major. And a lot of people always ask me, why don't we just call it a second rather than a ninth? And the reason for this is because when we write a chord with a ninth, it actually implies that we have every other extension below it. So therefore you'd be, you'd be expected to include the seventh as well. If we wanted a C major chord with the note D, but without the major seven, we'd have to write C major add two, or sometimes even C major add nine. But if we write C major 9, that implies that the major 7 is there as well. Another thing to know about ninths is that unlike sevenths, there are no major or minor ninths. It's always the same. So what can we do with these ninths? Well, I personally love ninth chords and really like the sound they produce. Chords such as these all make use of the ninth. And also when improvising, the ninth can be looked at as a chord tone, and it always sounds great. So I hope this quick little lesson was useful, and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment box below. If you enjoyed this, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.